it is finished ang pang-anim na salita. Ang mga nagsulat ng buhay ng ating Panginoong Yesus, mga kapatid, ay nagsasabing na matay ang ating Panginoong Yesus na nagdarasal. Ang mga pitong huling salita na ating pinagdinilayan ngayong hapong ito ay mga dasal ng ating Panginoon kasama ng kaniyang pag-aalay ng kaniyang buhay para tayo ay maligtas ay ang mga salitang dasal. Kalakip ng kaniyang pag-aalay sa Ama ay ang kaniyang dasal. At ang pang-anim na salita, it is finished, ay yun ang pinakahuling salitang kaniyang sinambit. Ang pinakahuling dasal na kaniyang sinambit ayon kay San Juan na Ebanghelista. Mga kapatid, pagkatapos pong painumin ng ating Panginoong Yesus, siya po ay nagsalita at sinabi niyang natapos na. At pagkatapos niya pong sabihin ng natapos niya ayon kay San Juan, siya po ay huminga ng malalim at siya po ay namatay na. Mga kapatid, ano ang natapos ng ating Panginoong Yesus? Ano yung hangganan na kanyang tinupad? Ano yung kanyang kinalalagyan sa pamagitan ng pagkamatay? Mga kapatid, ito po yung panghuling salita ng ating Panginoong Yesus sa kanyang paghihirap. Pero sa umpisa po ng kanyang paghihirap, yung tiyatawag po nating passion narrative according to St. John, noong ang ating Panginoong Yesus, hugasan niya ang paa ng kanyang mga apostoles, ang sabi doon, ang ating Panginoong Yesus ay nagmahal sa kanyang mundo, minahal niya ang kanyang mga disipulo hanggang sa katapusan. Ang Diyos nagmahal hanggang sa katapusan. At itong pagtatapos ng kaniyang buhay, sinabi niyang natapos na. Ang kaniyang pagkamatay tila baga kumumpleto sa kaniyang pagmamahal sa mundo. At alam po natin, pag mas malayo pa ang ating lalakbayin mula sa sulat, mula sa Ebanghelyo ng ating San Juan, alam natin sa umpisa ng Ebanghelyo ni San Juan, sabi ni San Juan Bautista, sa kaniya, eto yung kordero ng Diyos. At alam po natin, ang kordero ng Diyos ay magtatapos sa pag-aalay ng kaniyang buhay para mabigyan ng buhay na walang hanggan ang kaniyang bayan. Mga kapatid, ang salitang natapos na ng ating Panginoong Yesus, batid nito ang pananatili ng Diyos sa atin. Batid nito ang pagiging tapat ng Diyos sa atin. Natapos na ibig sabihin ang ating Panginoong Yesus simula pa sa Ebanghelyo ni San Juan, simula pa sa kaniyang pagsusumikap at sa kaniyang paghuhugas ng paa ng kaniyang mga apostoles, siya po ay nanatiling nagmahal hanggang sa kaniyang kamatayan. Mga kapatid, ang ating Panginoong Yesus nanatili sa Ama at sa pamagitan ng kaniyang pananatili sa Ama, Natapos na ang kaniyang misyon. Mga kapatid, ang ating tema ngayong Good Friday sa taong ito ay yung pananampalataya. At sa Ebanghelyo ni San Juan, ang pananampalataya, faithfulness for St. John is remaining in God. And our Lord Jesus Christ, when He said, It is finished, He was praying and thanking the Father for He had remained with Him until the end. He had remained loving His disciples until the end. Brothers and sisters, our world of today is alien to what we call faith. People of today are no longer attractive to faith. If only we, know, we discover, we have an encounter with people who are faithful, then we will know what faith is all about. We have a scarcity of experience and encounter with people who are faithful. That is why faith is no longer attractive. That is why the sixth word, when Jesus was saying, it is finished, it is a figure, it is a word of encouraging us to be faithful. The world needs people who are faithful. In this year of faith, we can only experience what faith is all about if we have experience of people who are faithful. And this faithfulness means remaining in God. Brothers and sisters, 
it is finished. How I wish that at the end of our lives we could also pray with faithfulness. I have remained in God and therefore we can pray like Jesus, it is finished. Let us remain in God. Let us be faithful. For only in our encounter with people who are faithful can we understand what faith is all about. Brothers and sisters, faithfulness means remaining in God. How many families in the world of today are broken because of unfaithful husbands or wives? How many children lose their sense of respect to their parents because they are not faithful? Because parents are not faithful. How many people inside the church live our Catholic faith because priests, religious, churchmen, church leaders are not faithful to their vows? Brothers and sisters, if there is one lesson that our Lord Jesus is telling us, it is finished. It's a prayer of a servant who is faithful to God. A prayer of a servant who remained in God. That is why in this prayer of faithfulness, let us gaze and look upon God. Let us look at God inviting us to be faithful. Brothers and sisters, I remember before I was ordained as a priest, I had a personal time with God. And in my personal time with God, I asked God, why did He allow me to become a priest in the midst of my faithfulness? Why is God so faithful to me even if in so many ways I have been unfaithful to Him? And I think this is, this is I think, the attitude of God. For those people who are not faithful to Him, He remains faithful. And in my conversation with God before my ordination, this was only my promise to God. In my tender year, I would like to be faithful to God. I would like to grow old as a priest with God. I would like to be faithful to God. And in the end, I would also say, as a priest, it is finished. Brothers and sisters, the word it is finished invites us encourages us to be faithful husbands in listening to god saying it is finished let this be an opportunity for you to renew your vow of faithfulness to your wives and wives in listening to jesus praying it is finished let this be the moment for you to renew your vow to be faithful for indeed we can only appreciate the word it is finished we can only appreciate this year of faith if we, as faithful people, remain in God. And at the end of our lives, we will all say, with confidence, it is finished. And we hope, just as we have remained in God in our lives, He will also remain with us when we go to heaven.